Okay, welcome to your practice on HD resolution of mind. We're going to be exploring a very ancient technique called the labeling practice. And this is going to help us to detach from distraction. Okay, remember the distraction that's chewing up all our time, external distractions and internal distractions. So this practice, if you practice this regularly, will help to train the mind so that we can stay focused, just like Albert Einstein. <laughs> and then we can really have great ideas and, and we're able to unpack things through the power of focus. Um, but the mind is a muscle and we need to train the mind. Otherwise, it's untrained, it's unfit, and our distraction is all over the place. So sitting comfortably in your seat, wherever you choose to sit. Um, you may sit cross-legged, you may even lie down, it's okay. Just make sure you are nice and relaxed. Let's take a deep breath in through the nose. And gently breathe it out the mouth. Great. Resting your awareness just on the natural flow of your breath. If you can, breathing through the nose, just nice and easy. That's it. Relax your mind. There's nothing else to think about. There's nowhere else to go. Just happy be here. So now we're going to play a little game with our distractions. It may seem very difficult to just focus on one thing for very long. So we're going to label whatever arises. We're going to name it. If a thought arises, we're going to catch that thought and we're going to label it in our mind. Thinking, thinking. That's all. Not thinking about lunch or whatever. Just thinking, thinking. Two words and then return back to your breath. Okay, your breath is the anchor. If you hear a sound that's distracting, whether it's pleasant or unpleasant or neutral, just label that as well. Hearing, hearing. Hearing, hearing. And then return back to your breath. Perhaps you'll feel a sensation in your body. You can label that feeling, feeling, and then return back to your breathing. Let's try that now. We've got three labels that we can employ, thinking, hearing, or feeling. But remember, the breath is always your anchor, and you can't fail at this. Don't beat yourself up. It's just a little game in focus. And the more we do this, the more we can detach from our distraction. Resting your attention now on your breathing. That's good. thinking or feeling or hearing.
resting on your breath. The mind may seem very busy, there may be many distractions, and that's okay. When we come back to our breathing, we build that mental muscle that is giving us the strength to detach ourselves from any distraction that's going on, whether it be internal or external. And then, if you like, you can push pause right now and carry on with this practice. But if you're having a busy day and you need to get back to it, then let's end this with a lovely deep inhalation, breathing in through the nose. And release slowly out the mouth. blinking the eyes open great there we go so the more we do that the more disciplined we will be with ourselves and with our external environment and this is how we create those boundaries so beautifully and naturally thanks for practicing with me um let's jump into the homework and explore what we can do <laughs> for the next couple of days thank you for practicing with me see you now Welcome to your homework for Elevated Self. We've been looking at HD resolution of mind. Wouldn't that be just amazing? So what are we going to do? Well, we're going to start with our computers. Clean up your desktop, arrange everything into folders and have everything uh, nice and neat. And then every morning, just to do three rounds of deep breaths and then close your eyes, relax, um, and then start your daily planning straight after that. Write it all down, what you want to do, and which emails that you are going to attend to. With that clarity of mind, you'll see you'll be way more insightful and productive. Um, then make a little glitter jar. It's just a jar with water and then some silver glitter. That's easy. Play around with it and imagine that sort of stress can settle when we take it. Give it to your kids. I mean, they'll love it. Just play around with it. Then try to do one thing at a time and as we know the dangers of multitasking so whether it's cooking cleaning having a coffee um, working just one thing and perhaps choose that one thing and then gradually expand it out if you are journaling list more boundaries that you can apply to emails to messages to people demands on your time and this might include your friends and family as well uh, and then that's it for the homework uh, for session two Let's build that HD resolution of mind and not settle for poor quality standard definition. <laughs> Thanks for being on this journey with me. We'll see you in the next session.